And with the tough one last night, just were you impressed by the way your team not only pulled it out but really battled tonight to get the win? Yes. Um, and, and that's what they've been doing, you know. It, look, it's it hasn't been easy for us. It, it hasn't been perfect. You know, we've been beat up at different times. Um, but this group is really, really competing well. And, and that rang true tonight, you know. You lose a tough one and, and fall behind. You kind of crept crawl back to tie it up and then take the lead and then lose the lead and and just keep on playing and uh so just a, a gutsy win by by a lot of guys stepping up there when when it's you know when it's not easy what has this presence meant to this team this year especially considering some of the in, the, the injuries that that have taken place so early in the season yeah i mean he, he's been in there every I, I think what's he had one day off maybe two um a couple dh days you know he has been it's been great. Um, you know, his his swing really started to lock in probably the last day or two of spring training where I thought he was starting to get it going a little bit and carried it into the season and has been has been, you know, I think I described rock solid. I mean, that's what he's been. He's just been a great presence um, in the middle of our order and and really consistent and and like he usually always does, um, you know, big hits come with him. Gary. It looked like Rizzo really admired that last shot. What was your reaction in the dugout? Um, when he hit it, I thought he got it, and then I following the path, I knew he got it. Um, so I was, I was pleased. Chris, <laughs> when King gives up the homer to Lau, what's the vibe like in the dugout at that point? Uh, low. Um, keep playing. You know, <laughs> we're playing a good team. It's not always going to be perfect. Um, and you got to just keep playing. And, you know, I thought King are overall threw the ball well tonight. You know, they a couple bloops to set him up and then a mistake there to low who's hot and, and drives one out the other way. And, you know, to the guy's credit, just, you know, Clay comes in and, and picks it up and does a really good job of getting out of that inning and holding it to one. And then just some good at-bats there by Judgey working the walk and then the homer. Um, you just got to keep playing in these situations, um, especially when you're back and forth with a really good team. Dan, to the right. Aaron, when Chris asked you that question, you said low. You were correct. You were just that was the pronunciation, not that the morale was low in the dugout. Yeah. Okay, let's make sure. Wandy uh, in the ninth, just, you know, you've talked so much about how he – He's up for every challenge. Yeah. You know, you know, with your bullpen the way it's been, and a little shaky the last two nights. Is that you know the guy that you would want out there? In that no, game? I mean, I, I never mind Wandy out there, but I was playing the game straight, just like trying to get you know I was going to go Clay there at the top of their order with um, Diaz, Franco, and and uh, um, a Rosarena. Um, you know, and then obviously we 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 had already used Hamilton and, and Kinger to that point, with Lau leading off the inning and knowing Lowe's sitting there in that four hole potentially, which obviously they hit for him. Um, it was going to be Wandy's game at that point, so um, we're just going to mix and match. And obviously, I, I you know I I know that Wandy's never never afraid in those situations. I thought he was really sharp tonight. Brian to the left. Aaron, you've talked about Volpe starting to get rewarded for some hard contact. Are you seeing a difference from him mechanically at the plate? I don't know. Not not necessarily. I, you know, I think he's done a good job of getting his swing off and making some adjustments. A couple really good at bats off, you know, <clears throat> that hit he get got to give us the lead. Did he give us the lead or tie it? Oh. The lead, yeah. Um, off Kelly, that's a tough customer right on right. And uh, he, he put a really good swing on that ball and and obviously, you know, to dig the sinker out from, from Fleming and shoot it the other way like he did, um, just a really good approach and some really good swings on some, on some you know, a tough right on right and a tough sinker to elevate too. Uh, right. Aaron, do you think two things? One, do you think that was coincidence that it, on Volpe that it's the night that you put him in a different spot in the lineup? <coughs> yes. How helpful has it been for Wandy to have a pitch clock and to be able to work fast? He's had some issues with the quick pitch, but you know, in general, it seems like he's using it to his advantage. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's hurt him because of, because of the quick. It's cost him a few balls. He always works quick, and he always has that pace. And you know, before the pitch clock, that's how he pitches. So um, I don't. I don't know. Brenna, if it's had a net positive or negative on him. Um, 
because that's that's kind of who he is and and sometimes now with the clock he's got to he's got to abide and obey a little bit right here in the front uh sold out it's may but sold out crowd you had your horse on the mound after a loss last night. You think tonight had like a playoff intensity feel to it? Yeah, I, Zillow and I were just talking about that. You know, it was one of those, you know, warm night, you know, kind of looking like starting to look like summer. Um, and from Jump Street, um, the crowd was rocking and into it. It did have that kind of little extra special um, Friday night, great opponent, you know, good regular season night here, here at the stadium. So that was fun to – be a part of and and witness and uh you know i'm sure help play a role in pushing us over the top tonight